Hello? Oh, shot myself then. I thought we weren't recording, but we are recording. Hello? Uh, I'm just testing to see if you can hear me. Yeah, I think you can hear me. I think you can hear me. It's all good. Um, hello, welcome. My name is Gareth Bryan, The Lost Island. And I've had some camera problems, but you don't need to know this. But now we are going to play uh, a new game that we're on the Xbox Hub channel, by the way. And we're going to play a new game called Sagebrush. And it's my sort of second game this couple of weeks that I'm reviewing that's set around a cult. That's all I know. So we're going to... Already I kind of like the music. So we're going to go straight in. Play about 45 minutes of it. See where we are. I've got a drink somewhere. I've lost it. Um, I, can't, I, I think it's cheap, this price. I think it's out now. I met Anne first, waiting for the bus. Normally, I avoid talking to just about anybody, but she struck up the conversation. She was so pleasant, so confident. She smiled at me as if she had known me as a kid, and we were just catching up after all these years. She told me she could tell I had a hole in my life. She knew what that was like, she said. She had also had a hole, but it was gone now. I asked her what she was selling, and she laughed and said nothing, nothing at all. That what she had to offer was free for anyone who wanted it bad enough. I asked her what had helped her. She just said, James. Okay. These, these sound like r r real voices to me rather than actors. Mood of it. It's got that kind of really pixeled art style, which I really like. Audio is great. Sagebrush. Black Sage Ranch, 250 miles northwest of Albuquerque. Sighted in 1993. Perfect Heaven Mass Suicide. Wow, is it? Um, wow, okay. So this is me. It's my car. I won't wander off down there. I can go a little bit faster. The Gateway and Budget is really old school adventure game, it feels. And you didn't bring anything to bust through, okay. Love it. Portion of the fence appears to be about in need of maintenance. Ah. ah. My little car. Not gonna lie, you'd be surprised if I actually made it all the way here. You bought some gear in the trunk. I bet I got some kind of like clipping fence. Equipment. Ah, wire cutters, that was right. I like to call them clicking fence equipment. Okay. So I've got those. Let's go over here. Okay. I've got, I, I can't remember any of this. I'm through. We're through. Okay. Should we do? Should we go straight? This is creepy. The sound's gone, but it's even creepier. Oh, it's that bulletin board. Too dark to read anything. What I kind of like about this, I, d I don't know what I'm doing with here. Okay. It can be a little confusing getting around our little home. Don't worry. Sister Anne has printed some maps to help you get... Acclimatized. Acclimatized? Acclimatized? How do you say that? That's a look. Okay. A cleansing room. <gasps> Mines, chapel, fire pit, community hall. I think I'm... Where am I now? God knows. Maybe I'm in the community hall. Yeah, I think I'm in the community hall. 
It's this chap. Okay. Got a beard like mine. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is a community hall, definitely. God, it's creepy. Why is it so creepy? Ah, maybe there's a power source nearby, so I, I probably... Mouldy dishes litter the table, stained and dusty. There's no food, though. Wild animals likely finish the scrap. So has, has the mass suicide happened? Which is a big question. Okay. Ooh, read perf read performance schedule. Performance schedule. Monday, Joshua plays original hymns. Nice. Tuesday, gospel reading. Wednesday, Juliet violin recital. Thursday, gospel reading. Friday, children's reenactment of the book of Sorel. Note the power's been pretty finicky lately. You might have to restart the generator to get the lights back on. The key is in the box and the generator is around the side. Andrew. Thank you, Andrew. No karaoke night. Ah, I got the generator key. Thank you. Uh, oh, what's that over there? What is this? Well, uh, I had just graduated from college. You know I was a communications major. That part was true. So, I graduated and I couldn't find a job. I had no idea what I wanted to do and got pretty depressed. My boyfriend at the time said I was holding him back and took off, so that was that. I could have moved home, but I didn't. I stayed out in California, but it's not like I had any friends there. My parents would call and I would just lie about how things were going. I didn't know what I wanted because, I guess, I didn't really want anything. I would wake up and just count the seconds ticking off of my life until I fell back asleep. We were all broken in some way, I think. Some more than others. I think these are real accounts, maybe? It's amazing. It's... Wow. This is a, ooh, a surprising little game, this. A nice instrument once, and the strings are rusted, and the liqueur? Lacquer? Lacquer? Faded. I can't know how to say that word. Okay, so if there's anything on here. Oh, sheet music. Too dark, and we need to get this generator. So let's go out here. Let me show a little play. Interiors coated in the long dried blackened remains of various melted frozen goods. Flies buzz around a sink piled with unwashed dishes. A huge can of pork and beans just like you used to eat growing up. I didn't eat it. Let's get a small, a small grin of tea, green beans dented on the side. Okay. You fiddle with the knobs, there's a hiss of gas, no clicking and ignition, the range is long dead. Right, why don't we get out of here? <laughs> Tons of cereal boxes, none of the sugary stuff though. Oh my god, what's happening there? It'd be great if we could... Alright, oh, you close that door. We know about Leonard. Too darn. Oh god. Okay. Let's go and sort this generator. This is. Generate. Ooh! A ping pong table! It's the only game you see around. Doesn't seem like there's enough room to play? No! This is like a ping pong table in my house when I grew up. We used to have a pool table, a snooker table like this, and it was like, like that, just, with the cues. And we all had that. Too dark to make it okay. Ooh. Can't use it, I need a record. Oh, we've got gate key. We've got farm shed key. Oh, that's good. Oh, have we got some bloody key? The toilet. Okay, we won't spend much time in there. Another toilet. 
We've got some good toilets here. Right, okay, let's get out of here. For a generator. Maybe around the corner here. Yay, now we're in business. The generator's on. I want to go back in there and make some, have, read what we can see. Can you hear that? The Peyton shows an intensely focused middle-aged man. That's what sometimes people call me. Uh, intensely focused middle-aged man. He holds a book in his left hand. The painter seems less than professional, but the man's determination shows through. An angel walks through an empty field, his hands pressed together in prayer. This painting depicts an angel tenderly creating the corpse of Jesus Christ in his tomb. Wow. Get to know the newest members of the flock. Work on them with open arms and open hearts. Hi, my name's Christopher. I'm from Flagstaff. I was a farmer before. I hope to lend my expertise to help feed the flock. Fun fact. I hold the record for most blue ribbons at the Arizona State Fair Livestock Competition. Hello, Christopher. I'm Viola, my two wonderful children. I'm not going to read all these out. Um, this is a... Uh, have a look at this book. Do you take a book off the shelf? We know the conspiracy can trace itself back as far as the fall. What's this conspiracy? When Athenius and his cronies first began to... Ah, so we've got some kind of Bible thing which you get on that. It's mad, this music. Okay. Okay. So, oh, the dog's coming up here. What do I do now? I, see, I've got no idea what to do. I like that. Let's go and explore the rest. So we've done that. So I've got a gate there. We might as well open the gate. And uh, gate. The rust in lock fights back but eventually relents and the gate unlocks. Here we go. We're in. Achievement. The music is brilliant. I'm a little bit scared. Wow, look at all these little homes. Really like the artwork here. Oh. Alright, I need to find a, another key there. Where do I go? Oh, there's a light on here. On it. Open an Indian's tray. No. I think I... I think we get that to that layer on. So, let's kind of lose here. Or shower units. So, we're running along here. Alright, shower units. So, let's go over here. This looks like a farm shed to me. Oh no, it's a school. There's another tape. Let's do. Oh, stop, stop.
I often helped Viola in the schoolhouse. I enjoyed working with the children. We taught them reading, writing, scripture. Viola was one of the most faithful among us. If Anne was like the mother of the flock, Viola was the older sister. I remember one lecture she gave the children on the nature of hell that was so vivid, so unflinching, it had the kids in tears. I told her she was scaring them, and she said, good, they should be scared. Wow. wow. Okay. You can make out faded writing of the last lesson, the first revelation, the day... Father James will receive the truth. This is very, very creepy. It's too dark to read anything. Okay, can we switch the light on here? Is there a light switch? Ah, generator's dead. Okay. So. Can you remember the map thing? Oh, I can't remember the map. Okay, let's go over here. So this is a little house. Oh, I haven't got that yet. So, one thing I've got is a farm. A little church up. See if I oh I can save, which is a good thing. See if I can just save. Saved, great. That's what I like, just in case something terrible happens. Oh look at this! It's like a little theatre. Oh, it's a little what? Oh, that's the fire pit. That's the fire pit. Found the fire pit. First base in the ranch's small baseball diamond. Okay. Oh, here we are. Can I remember seeing. Wow, oh, that's a home plate. That's a little pitcher's mound. Third base. They've all got different meanings. Oh, what's this? I oh, said so we're in farmland now. Here we go. <gasps> Field of dreams. Okay, so, why don't we go to, oh my god, what's going on over here? <gasps> Look at this, blood. Blood has seeped out from under the door and soaked into the dirt. Flies still swarm the area. Okay. Oh. Okay, that doesn't work. Okay, let's go around the back. No, okay. That's not gonna work. Let's go up. That's the farm shed. It must be the farm shed. What the frig is this then? Okay, so we can't get in here. I mean... That's a barn, isn't it? It's not a farm. That looks like a farm shit, though. Let's go over here. All farm stuff. There's something so creepy about knowing something's happened. At the moment, until I do some research, I don't know if this is true or made up. Love the fat. Yes, here we are. We're in. We're in. A ragged old work jacket. You ruffle through the pockets, coughing at the dust. You find a key. And what's the key then? You load the batteries into your flashlight. Let's hope they're still charged. Oh, we've got batteries. Nice. 
Let's head into the tape deck again. The first time I met Father James, I was immediately filled with a sense of peace. It's hard to explain. I guess he just seemed so sure. He asked if I was a believer. I said I'd been raised Catholic, but it never clicked. There's a reason for that, he said. They've been lying to you, all of them. And I knew he was right. Full of garden and farm implements, still caked in old grey dirt. Is that cereal? Okay. A gas can, empty, watering can, but also empty. Bags of seed and weaker. Okay. So, what was the key that we got? How do I get a menu? Oh, Andrew's trailer. So let's head over to the Andrew. Oh, God. Back. Let's go back over to the trailers. I'm sort of just discovering these things. Ah, that's a community hall, isn't it? That's the sun. And now, go back to the trailers. Yeah, that's a community hall. That's the house we can't get into. There's a church on top of the hill there or something. Let's just follow the logic of it. Okay, Andrews. If the trailer is a rocking, don't come knocking. I don't know what that means. Brother Aaron. Oh, Brother Andrew, here we go. Life with the flock was good. Oh. We would meet for morning prayer with Father James in the chapel, then meet for breakfast, and then we'd set off to work for the day. Some of us worked the fields, others worked on expanding the compound. We had a school teacher, we had cooks. In the evening we would study scripture or listen to one of Father's lectures. Then it would be time for penance, more oh. prayer, and then sleep. Fun. I slept better those early nights than I had in years. I was home. Do you know how good it feels to find home after so long? I would have done anything for Father. He saved me. Okay. Let's read Andrew's journal. We men must be all fools to buy the malarkey spat out as by the mainstream churches. The Catholic Church says we're awaiting Christ's return when they full well know better and the rest of Christendom believes them. The Mary worshippers. Perhaps we never know why the Lord waited until Father James to correct the record. Perhaps our Father in heaven waited for the earthly man he knew could bear this bird. I don't know what any of this means with grace. Blessed be our Lord, who saw fit to include wretches like me in his plan. I await the third coming with open arms and a heart full of love. Okay. Okay. Oh, what did I miss here? Oh, pick up key to Viola's trailer, which is good. I'll get this left, sorry. Right, try again. I need that letter. Good. Andrew, I gently enjoyed our walk earlier. I like it to continue. The children will be helping help and sow the fields tomorrow afternoon, so I'll be alone if you'd like to stop by. Okay, thank you, Viola. We'll find out what happened. It's getting dark. What was the year? Oh, there you go. So, we're looking for Viola's trailer. Oh. Okay. Lillian's? 
Mr. Julia Eddy, obviously a, a sister and, and wife team. And there's Viola, Juliet and Lucas. Let's just try to see if we can open that. Okay. We'll have the tape. Let's listen to the tape. We were chosen, all of us, by the Lord. Do you know how good that feels? To be chosen? I hope you do. It's a feeling we all need in our lives. And on top of that, Father James took a special interest in me. He said he felt spiritually invigorated by my presence and often called me to the rectory to spend time with him. Oh, dear. Not dumb, I knew, but I didn't care. I was so honored to be his chosen. Okay. Lillian, forgive me if I'm speaking too freely, but I care deeply about you and I worry about you. are having doubts about the Father and his teachings. We all are. You're young Lily. I understand where you're coming from, believe me, but as someone with a lot more life experience, let me tell you, you have nothing to doubt. Father James is a prophet of the Lord. He speaks the true world. If you need proof, just look at his prophecies that have come true. But more than that, if you pray and listen quietly, you will feel in your very soul the truth of his teachings. I'm here for you if you need to talk. Yours in Christ loves. Viola. Okay, Viola. Okay. Oh, little teddy bear. Oh, creepy teddy bear. This is Viola's diary. I feel wrong, doing. I've forgotten what love felt like. I thought that all the years suffering under Eric's thumb had ruined me. I thought there was no hope for happiness ever again. But I was so wrong. I feel so safe here. Father James had restored my faith in Christ, but also in men and in myself. A wonderful blessing. Yes, there is pain, but it is necessary. And I enter into it willingly and joyfully. I am so blessed to be part of this flock and to help ensure that my dear children taste the fruit of eternal life. Lucas has taken to life here easily, but Juliet, well, well, we need to be patient with Juliet. She just needs time. She'll come around and see. Father James says, Eric will burn in hell for his sins against me. I know I shouldn't take joy in that, but the thought of it makes me smile. Father says that even Eric could join the flock if he wanted it badly enough. But I know my husband well enough to know that he would laugh in the face of the truth. He is rotten with sin, and he would get what he deserves. Oh Lord Jesus, please give me guidance. I was only doing what asked of me, Lord. I was doing it all for him and for you, but I'm two weeks late now. I'm throwing up every morning. Lord, oh Lord, I don't know who the father is. It could be James, or it could be... Do I tell him? Will he be happy with me? Or furious? Have I sinned? What cleansing will I need to endure to rid this soul of this black mark? Wow, there's a lot going on here in this place. Wow, okay, right. I. Oh, have I read that? Oh, good, let's read this note too. Oh, reading that. I'll see you tonight for alternative cleansing in the rectory. Alternative cleansing? Come early, we have much to talk about. You know the day I received my first vision, and you will know the code. I don't think this is true, is it? Tuesday AM discussion of Matthew chapter 26. Wow, okay. Oh no, I should look at... I'm not going to read all this out now. Okay. There's a little... What do I need to do now? Okay, we're going to stop it here. I'm going to stop it at this point, And then we're, we'll pick up at this point. I'm going to do the whole lot. We're going to stream the whole thing. So I'll come back tomorrow and do it in bits. Half an hour blocks. And I'll, and I'll do that together. All right, see you in a bit. Bye-bye. So back again, like a renegade master. Um, so, we listened to that. We saw all this stuff. Now, so I'm back again, and it's lighter now. As you can see, that it's dark. It's daytime. And we're going to carry on with this brilliant game. Now, I think if I can get into my uh, generator key, there's something about meet me to get the code. Is the code to get into that that house with the lock gate over there? I think it might be. Uh, if I could work out what the documents are, let's just look at the controls. Oh, and what the controls are. No, what have I done? Oh no, what have I done? Don't muck around any of that. Alright, good. Resume.
Let's go over here. Something about a pregnancy test we saw, didn't we? So maybe it's where my phone went then. Here we go. Well, that's good of you, isn't it? A toilet. Okay. Now, I wish I could look at all the documents again. Oh, it's daylight. Let's go back to the... Oh, in here. That's one to it. Oh, see? Here we go. Yeah, I told you. Talk to where It's positive. So, it looks like James is having marital affairs with his his people. Okay, let's go. Let's go back. Back. So Lillian's trailer. She's got to check the trailers. This is uh, Sister Julia Ellie. And this is where I've just been. Right, let's read this note. I mean, I won't read it out loud again. I'll see you tomorrow for eternity. Know the day I receive my first. Know the day I receive my first vision, and you will know the code. So it's a date for the code in the rectory. Okay. Okay. It's a book of Sariel his. Seven stars in the eastern sky. Ah. One one three. Okay, so we need to find We need to find James's vision to get the code, that's fine. We can even try to get in some more places. Which is this place? That's alright. Right, okay. Let's go back over here. So we haven't really been to the... I don't know, how do I get up documents? It's really annoying me. I don't think I can. Oh, I found the map. So, we could go... Ah, there's a rectory. So we could go, we haven't been to, we've been to school, but we haven't, been, we haven't put the generator on there, we've been to the fire pit, we've been to the mines, or the chapel, or the cleansing room, cool. Let's get this generator on. Maybe we should go to the cleansing place. Okay, we're all, we're all um, polished up. Get the bloody light switch on. Okay. So now we can see. Oh. Juliet, honey, why are you so stubborn? Why do you reject the flock's love? You don't pay attention in class, you don't try hard on your assignments, you lie about doing your readings. I'm worried about you. I've asked Father James to take some time to speak with you one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, God. Please listen to him. He knows too much. He can help soothe your doubts, I promise. Just give me a try, love Mum. There we go. Where was it? Okay, we've listened to that tape. You can make out a faded writing of the last lesson. The first revelation of the day Father James received the truth. Ah. What is that day? Cele Celebration of the Crucifix, Feast of the First Revelation. Ah, June the 3rd. 0306. 
Or do they do it the other way around? 911. June 3rd. June the 3rd. Okay. Remember that. June the 3rd. Right. I'm not going to read all those. It's heady stuff, but we're not going to read it all. Right, good. Let's go head towards that place. Ooh. Look at their jackets. Right, okay, get out of here. I'm sure I saw a lock on the gate or something or a thing. Yeah, this is it. June the third, I said tonight. Ah, oh, yeah, that's it. Oh no. Oh six oh three. Ah, <gasps> clever boy. Here we go. And what the hell is this place here? This place is a rectory, okay. So let's go. Right. Let's get the bloody generator on if there's one on the side. Nope. Oh it's door shut. Who's shutting these doors? You take a book off the shelf. We know the conspiracy can trace itself back as far as the fourth century, when Athanius and his cronies first began to ex exclude essential works from the Bible. Okay. I'd like to clarify a few points of confusion I've noticed amongst the flocks. It's imperative that this is understood deeply and truly. I am not the Christ, only Christ is the Christ. I am a prophet of the Christ, this is his messenger of the flesh, a vehicle of the world. I have been blessed with the abilities beyond the normal man, and a great responsibility of our Lord, but I am still only a man. My teachings have been directly transferred by our Heavenly Father. Okay, nice and clear. This must be... What do each of us have in common? A soul. The stain of sin. Love of our Lord, yes, these things, but also we've all endured great suffering and that friends is why we are here. As Christ suffered, so have we, and we continue to suffer. Our suffering paved the path for each of us to join the flock. Ooh. Suffering, as we know, is a divine currency, but like any currency, we can exchange one form of legal tender for another. And so we pay our debt in physical pain. Why? I know some of you fear the cleansing room. I understand I really do, but bodily pain is but temporary. It can be overcome. Spiritual pain is eternal. It will follow us long past the days of reckoning. This is your choice. Bleed now from temporary wounds. Oh my God, or transient flesh will suffer eternally. When you put it that way. This is not such a difficult decision, is it? Um, so this cleansing room is this torture, kind of like beating room, I think. We have some horrible... Oh my God, look at this little kitchen. This kitchen scares me. Okay, let's have a little explore in here. Ooh. We dance, dark. <clears throat> Another night sleeping downstairs. I don't mean to complain. I can hear James and the others from in here. So happy, so fulfilled. It warms my heart, so I don't mean to complain, but it's cold in here. <laughs> and something in the room is driving my attitude crazy. It's hard to sleep, but I suppose it's all worth it. Okay. Why do these bathrooms scare me? You look tired. Thank you. Alright, we haven't got upstairs yet. Oh, I've t oh my god, what is this hell? An angel walks through an empty field, his hands pressed together in prayer. Oh my god. As we all know, sin is our debt and pain is our currency. 
It is by paying with pain that we cleanse ourselves and become ready for the days of reckoning. However, new teachings have been bestowed on me by the angel Sariel in a vision. The doctrine of alternative cleansing has been revealed. As we know, sin is the intersection of unclean vectors. But if one is fully cleansed, how can sin come from the act? In fact, the opposite is true. The app... Well, we lost that, really. The app becomes a godly one. To know deeply a true cleansed body is to be cleansed oneself. That is to lie with one who is fully cleansed to bypass the need for blood cleansing. Now, this applies to all cleansed bodies, but I do not say this to boast, as I am now fully cleansed father. Okay. Look at this hell. Right. There's a video camera. Right, let's listen to the tape. We have all been given our Wonderful. purposes by the Lord. And if we listen close enough to our hearts, if we pray hard enough, we can feel that purpose coursing through us. To excel in our God-given purpose is its own form of cleansing. Some of us are called to labor in the fields, to feed the flock. Some are called to train and to defend us. Others to teach our children the true way of things. The Lord calls upon many women to provide succor and relief. Now those of you with husbands may be rightly confused. Is this not a sin? I ask you, do you not love the Lord more than your husband? Wow. Would you deny the Lord himself your love? I am his flag bearer. Wow, so there's wives being given. Examine the camera. The camcorder aims at the bed. You hit the eject button and find a VH tip. Uh, we got that? Oh, we got a tape? Oh my god, what are we going to see on that? I examine the a large flat pedestal, not unlike an altar, stands at the foot of the bed. Some terrible stuff has happened here. Okay. The world is a wicked place, and redemption can only be found through Christ. This is the truth. And through it was known to the Lord's flock, they did not need to heed the word. The Lord Christ descended into the final judgment some 1,000 years ago, as forbid, forbid, as foretold in the scripture. Among many found not one true believer. The angels wept, but the covenant was kept as it must be. None were given eternal life at the feet of his father, and men were left to fester in their own sin. For two hundred generations, man has desecrated the earth given unto him. They have murdered each other, known sinful women, and lusted after false gods. They do not deserve to be saved. Ah, but quite a bleak view from the Book of Sariel. Got that on the chair. Oh, another achievement. My sweet, sweet bee, I have a very important task for you. There is a deceiver amongst us. A lion snake who tends to bring ruin upon the flock. This is a test. We must prove our faith by removing this cancer. This deceiver will never... Am I the deceiver? We never really is, but he might be to you. But I ask that you use your feminine charms to get close to the men in the flock. Specifically, I'm worried about Andrew, Leonard, and Peyton. Get them to open up to you. There's nothing to hide. They will be forgiven for Christ. Find the deceiver so we may strike him from this world and prove our dedication to our Lord. Do this for me, for the flock, and for the Christ. Hmm. So he's been using a bank, a bed covered in red satin sheets, pillows of skewer. Okay. Oh God. Let's get out of here. Maybe I'll turn the light back on now. Okay, let's get up here. Oh no, did I go through? Oh, that's where I came through. Music is really good. Beyond these doors is a sacred space. Only fully cleansed police who have been given express permission for Father Jacob to enter. The Lord protects his room, trust will suffer mightily. Okay. I can't get in here yet. So I've got a VHS tape from here. And I've got a trailer master key, so no video to play in, so let's carry on. <laughs> 